I'm Alec Krautman with your Managing Drought in the Southern Plains briefing on May 8, 2014. These briefings are brought to you by the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program in association with NOAA, the National Integrated Drought Information System, and the National Drought Mitigation Center. The past couple weeks have brought intensifying drought conditions for the Southern Plains. Record heat, high winds, and dry weather has really raised concern as we've entered May, which should be our wettest time of the year. Very recent rainfall Wednesday night and Thursday has brought some relief. In this briefing, we will take a, also take a look at the Southern Plains in the national news and pictures of dust in the Oklahoma Panhandle. On the most recent U.S. Drought Monitor map, you can see large areas of D2 severe drought or greater located across the High Plains, western Oklahoma, Texas, into the southwest, the Great Basin, and over to the west coast. Dry conditions, strong wind, winds, and record heat over the past week has led to significant expansion of the worst D3 and D4 drought conditions across the southern plains. Areas of the northern Midwest are dry or observing some drought as well. Now looking at the drought monitor by region, over the past week in the High Plains, D3 conditions have expanded significantly across central Kansas. In the south, there has been drought intensification in central and western Oklahoma, as well as central and north Texas. The especially hard-hit Oklahoma-Texas Panhandle region is now virtually entirely encompassed by D4 exceptional drought. In the west, the conditions have not changed much this week, with severe drought conditions still widespread. Next up is a look at rainfall departures. You can see the percent of normal precipitation over the past 14 days is very low. Under 20% of normal is in red for most of the southern plains. Again, this should be the wettest time of the year for the southern plains, but we have just not had adequate rainfall lately. There have been some uh, there have been some rains in parts of Oklahoma and North Texas last night and today which are providing some relief. Over the past 60 days, below normal precipitation is clear across the southern plains and into the southwest. Over the last six months, below normal precipitation is still apparent from the southern plains and into the west. You will notice that on all maps, the Oklahoma and Texas Panhandle region is especially deficient in precipitation. Looking at soil moisture anomalies from the Arkansas Red River Basin Forecast Center, you can see the severely depleted upper and lower soil moisture conditions across the Arkansas Red River Basin. The red colors represent anomalies less than 50% of normal. The upper zone soil moisture has really depleted fast over the past two weeks as hot and dry conditions set in and vegetation tries to green up. Lower zone soil anomalies are not any better overall, but slightly less dry to the east. Now the short-term five-day outlook from the Weather Prediction Center. It indicates a great shot at rainfall for the eastern portion of the southern plains, mainly today, Thursday, and tonight, and then at the start of next week. The Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle region, however, where the most critical drought conditions are present, is expected to remain dry. Looking at the five-day maximum temperature anomaly map, near normal high temperatures are expected across the southern plains. Above normal high temperatures are expected across much of the east, while the mountain west and the northern plains are looking at below normal high temperatures. Now to the Climate Prediction Center 8 to 14 day outlooks, you can see a likelihood of above normal temperatures for the west, below normal temperatures to the east, and near normal in between during the May 15th to 21st time period. This pattern represents the western ridge of high pressure that has been so persistent this year. On the right, below normal precipitation is likely for the southern plains and all the way out through the west during this time period. The NOAA three-month outlook from the Climate Prediction Center was updated back on April 17th and depicts a chance for overall above normal temperatures across the southern U.S. and up the west coast, below normal chances to the north, and equal chances for above or below normal temperatures in between. For the precipitation outlook, there are equal chances of above or below normal conditions across most of the country, except the west coast where below normal precipitation is expected to persist and there's an above-normal signature across the southern Rockies. 
This map indicates there is no strong signal or trend for precipitation this spring and into the summer across the southern plains. We have to keep watching storm tracks closely the next couple months since this is climatolo climatologically our wettest time of the year. Going into the summer with below normal spring rainfall would put us in a bad spot when it comes to hot weather and continued drought in coming months. The U.S. seasonal drought outlook was updated uh, by CPC back on April 17th as well. And it shows that drought will persist for much of the high plains, the southern plains, the southwest, the Great Basin, California, and Oregon through July. Notable areas of improvement or drought removal are in the central plains, but this would only be possible if normal or above normal spring rainfall occurs. Again, the storm tracks this spring and the return moisture from over the Gulf of Mexico will be crucial for any drought improvement. The extreme conditions in the southern plains have been in the national news this week. Everything from the drought conditions and water situation in Wichita Falls to dust storms, wildfire, and record heat. The wildfire in Guthrie, Oklahoma was especially damaging. Hot, dry, and very windy conditions led to the environment ripe for wildfire. Gary McManus, the state climatologist for Oklahoma, was in the panhandle this week and brought these pictures back of a dusty landscape. Dried and dusty land is becoming common across the Oklahoma-Texas panhandle region, and unfortunately when the wind blows, the dust goes with it, leading to poor travel conditions and of course the awful impacts on agriculture. This concludes this week's Managing Drought in the Southern Plains Briefing. See this list of resources for more information and visit the SKIP website at southernclimate.org if you would like to register for future webinars. Thank you for listening and have a great day.